Next, we will speak about the graduation requirements. This is a copy of the graduation check that your counselor uses to track your progress. You'll be able to see uh, the first category is English Language Arts. You do need four credits of that. You need English 9, 10, 11, and 12. There are multiple options to receive those credits, uh, whether honors, AP, or general uh, classes, or even Tech Center credit. If you fail one of these courses, it will need to be retaken. And you'll notice there are two boxes, one for Section A and one for Section B. Moving down to Math, also four credits. The required classes are Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and you do need a math course in your senior year. Again, one full credit, an A and a B. Science, all freshmen take Biology. Sometime after that, they will need to take either chemistry or physics and then a third year science. Now your eighth grade credit from West Middle School could count as your third year science. Social Studies credit, US History, World History, and then one semester of Civics and Economics. For Civics you could take AP US Government which is a full year AP course that would count for Civics and Economics Personal finance could also count for that one half credit. Sliding down, you'll be able to see the Visual Performing Applied Arts. You do need one credit there. Um, there are two boxes there. There's a plethora of courses that can count for that, whether it's business, technology, performing arts, um, or others. Language other than English, we offer four now. French, German, Spanish, and Sign Language. And you do need two years or an equivalent of that to meet the graduation requirement. For PE, the requirements are different for the classes. For the class of 2024 and beyond, you need Health and PE 1 and Health and PE 2. For classes of 2023 and 2022, you need Health and PE 1 and a PE elective. The final thing there, the total, all students need to accrue 22 credits. And if you do a quick math calculation in four years, six credits each year, you could have a possibility of 24 credits. Not count any, any middle school credits, work experience, or other types of credits that you can earn. But 22 is the magic number. There are a couple important reminders to consider when planning your academic year for 2021 and 2022. Each student must sign up for a full six credit schedule plus select two full credits of alternate courses. Those two credits are the equivalent of four semesters. Here's an example of a six credit schedule two sections of biology, A and B, two sections of English language arts, A and B, an AP human geography course, A and B, algebra one, A and B, Spanish one, A and B, and two elective courses, photography one and ceramics. Photography and ceramics are each a semester course and will count for half a credit. Make sure that when you select biology A, that you also select Biology B, as these are year-long courses. Additionally, you'll need to select two full credits, or four semesters, of alternate selections. Classes like Sports Psychology, Honors Debate, Sociology, or Medals and Jewelry. For those of you in music courses, such as Band, Choir, and Orchestra, you'll sign up for the year-long offering according to your director's instructions. Career Tech Center students should remember that those CTC courses are for three credits. They will fill six semesters of your year-long schedule. Final reminder, make sure that you sign up for a full six credit schedule plus two full credits of alternate courses.
Now that we've reviewed the graduation requirements and class schedule, I'd like to go over the resources available to our sophomores picking their junior level classes. On the communication sent home on timeline and course selection process, you will see the first link being our West Senior High course guide. This course guide gives an abundance of information, including a course description of every course available to West Senior High students. The next link is the elective slideshow. Moving down to the 10th into the 11th grade tips for enrollment. This is for current sophomores selecting junior level classes. You'll see at the top a review of the graduation requirements. Moving down, you'll be able to see the selection options for you. Moving down to English, you'll see that we have English 11A, the AP English in Composition, AP English Literature in Composition. The normal progression if you're choosing the AP track is AP Language, and then as a senior, AP English Literature. Math, the ladder goes up from Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, Trig Pre-Calc, and then into one of the AP options, whether it's Calculus, AB, or BC. Think about what you have this year and select the next rung in the ladder. Science, many of you may have selected Chemistry this year. That moves you into Physics, or an AP Science, or even Environmental Science. Social Studies, if you have taken U.S. History and World History as a ninth and 10th grader, your last remaining requirement is a semester of Economics or Personal Finance and Civics. We do have an AP option for Civics, AP American Government. The next link is your selection form. This form gives you all of your options for selecting your 11th grade classes. Please pay specific attention to the amount of credits a class is. If it is 0.5 credits, that will fill a one semester class. If it is a one credit class, it will fill an hour each semester, semester one and semester two. Please pay specific attention to the Traverse Bay Area Career Tech Center section. All of these classes are three credits. They will fill three hours in both semester one and semester two. Remember, you will need a total of six credits and two alternate credits.